Welcome back to India Bike Week 2022 and we are checking out an upcoming performance electric motorcycle. This is the Orha Mantis and given that it's called the Mantis, its styling is also quite animalistic like an insect. Starting with this twin LED headlamp with its pincer shaped LED DRLs and the same continues with this section. Now this is where usually you will find a fuel tank on a petrol powered bike but since this is electric, they have created the neat slots here plus the charging port should be placed somewhere around here. The same minimalistic theme, open theme continues with the subframe. Now this reminds you a little bit of the KTM 790 890 Dukes. Even the seat is flat and nice and spacious. The pillion section seems quite small. You get LED tail light and LED turn indicators here. Now what powers the Orha Mantis? Well, instead of showing it to you over here, they've got an exposed bike here. So this is the heart. This is an 18 kilowatt continuous motor with its exposed casing, kind of like the dry clutch cover you find on high-end Ducati Panigales. This has a peak power rating of 28 kilowatts. And this is the battery. Now this is nine kilowatt hour battery, which should take roughly five, five and a half hours to charge via 15 amp socket. It also gets fast charging capabilities, which should reduce charging times to two, two and a half hours, but that will happen once the production ready bike comes. Now this battery, as well as the motor, is housed in this aluminum frame. And you also get an aluminum subframe. Even the swing arm is made from aluminum. Now the reason for going down the aluminum roof is to reduce weight as much as possible. And as a whole, this bike should roughly weigh around 180 kilos. What is the performance of this bike? Well, they are targeting a 0 to 100 acceleration time of around 8 seconds. And these guys have also tested the bike to close to 13 and a half thousand kilometers. They've covered that distance in 54 days all around India and testing it in various riding conditions. Real world range is around 200 kilometers. In the city conditions on the highway, it's around 150 kilometers. So that is its performance and range aspects. Moving on to the hardware. Now this is a telescopic for quite a chunky unit. No USD here. You get a single disc brake at the front with vibre brake caliper and single channel ABS. Moving on to the rear. Preload adjustable monoshock over there. CR tires and a single disc brake. Then the interesting thing here is that unlike certain EVs currently, this one makes use of a belt drive system. Now the belt drive should ideally be smoother and you won't find that clanking sound that you find with a chain drive system. What is the price going to be and when will you be able to buy it? Well, currently you can register for the test rides of this bike, which should start sometime early next year. And then you'll be also be able to book the bike at the same time. As far as the launch is concerned, it will happen sometime around mid-2023 and the prices are expected to be around 3 lakh rupees. Now, this is a premium motorcycle, so obviously it won't get subsidies, but it should be slightly more affordable than the Ultrawide F77. So, what do you think about this Mantis? Do let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video. And until next time, thank you for watching.